Hello everybody, hello. Hi everybody, it's Barbara Campbell coming to you from Brooklyn, New York, Crown Heights, USA, New York. And we're at the Barbara Campbell Television Studio. Behind me is my new instrument. It's a double neck guitar. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. But we got to talk about this. Because via the pandemic, if you're new to my show, I learned how to play a guitar. And I'm still learning how to play guitar. Like every day, you learn something new. So with a double neck guitar, I now have um, 12 more strings than my usual six strings. So this has like 12 strings and six on the other side. So today I, I, um, I, um, I unboxed and uh, tuned, which I'm learning how to tune the guitar. <laughs> it's very challenging. And so I'm, I'm learning, but there's 12 strings. So I got halfway, but I still wanted to make sure that I play the guitar today. Um, so bear with me until I get it to the point that it's tuned with the right action. Uh, all these things that I'm learning about prepping a guitar to be ready to play. So um, this post is for all my mu musicians all around the world. Um, tune in and share your suggestions. First of all, where I should start um, on the guitar. <laughs> so this journey of playing a guitar, um, which I have a song that I that. Uh, I put out as uh, uh, well. We'll talk about that, but let's let's let me focus about this guitar right here and the questions that I have for all the musicians all around the world. First of all, um, changing the strings. Like I'm a beginner, so this is going to be. In, I mean, I don't know. I think it'll be quite challenging for me to change strings. So I will probably have to get it serviced. But in terms of tuning a 12 string, where to start, where's the first step I should do? I got a tuner, <laughs> so I'm taking my time in, in tuning that. Second, maintaining, how many um, suggestions of how to maintain a double neck guitar, um, the settings, I have my own uh, style of playing. So with a double neck, I'm going to be doing a lot of discovery. And, and how I want to uh, play my guitar. But uh, I welcome you all, uh, your questions and suggestions and playing this new guitar. <laughs> I'll need the encouragement. And that's why I wanted to make sure I play because as an entrepreneur artist like myself, a uh, bit of a procrastinator, I wanted to make sure I play. If not, the Guitar would be like in its box for the next like year. So I wanted to make sure I just played it. And that is one of the traditions that I have. When I get a guitar, first thing, play it. And then set time to practice. As I've been, um, they have suggested to me, hey, practice your guitar. Practice. But I heard recently from this um, musician, like, go practice and then practice like the most hardest thing. Okay. I'm gonna try that. <laughs> I'm gonna try that. You know, practice something that I, I want to uh, learn. That's a, more of a hard skill to 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 accomplish. So that's on my list this week, and that's why I wanted to make sure I got a chance to play this guitar today. And I just got it. I was supposed to be delivered yesterday for Martin Luther King, but for the holidays, so I got it today. And um, the delivery was amazing. Um, the delivery person was so kind, left it right by my door, and uh, uh, just wonderful customer service all around. So I just want to say a big shout out to everybody. Um, so everybody, this is uh, let me know if I should do more of these uh, episodes, taking a moment in the studio to talk to musicians all around the world. Um, your word of advice for beginners like myself, <laughs> upcoming uh independent artists uh what else Let me i had questions oh my goodness all right um well also for a double neck guitar does it matter the size of amp that it's plugged in like should it be a certain uh, amp size or amp watts as i'm learning 
<laughs> you know, there's amps with two tubes, and there's amps that are, uh, you know, a, a new model. I don't know if it's like kind of digitized or so. Um, so that's a question. Second question is um, the wire that is being plugged in. As you notice, I have an orange uh, wire, but does it matter what type of wire that I use to plug into the guitar and put it into the amp? Is there a certain brand that is like even like great to um, a better wire? <laughs> or, you know, and um, let's see. Oh, my last question. When I plugged in, there was a little buzzing. So I'm trying to figure out where is it coming from? The monitor? Or is it the guitar in, in terms of the setting, me trying to just adjust the right setting to it? Or is it part of the tuning? Um, might be my monitors. So any suggestions of any uh, new monitors that I should purchase uh, or record that you can recommend, that would be great. Musicians all around the world, thank you so much for joining Barbara Campbell. Um, be live on the air at the Barbara Campbell Television. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you and maybe hopefully in the future uh, somewhere out in the universe <laughs> uh, we will get a chance to jam and um, till then everybody have a beautiful day thank you so much for supporting me as an independent digital music artist I want to say thank you happy new year many many best of luck to you all and um, well I'll see you at the next episode. Leave your comments, likes below. Uh, if you're on my YouTube page, our channel is Barbara Campbell Television BC. And to head over to our website is barbaracampbellnyc.com and you can join my mailing list. All right, everybody. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a great day. Hope you're having an amazing day. Bye-bye. Thank you. Till then, you count, you matter. Stay in Brooklyn. And don't forget to vote. Stay green and protect the ocean floor and the environment. Bye-bye.